Thank you for visiting software and finance .com. In this session, I'm going to teach you about inheritance, multiple inheritance, virtual functions, and abstract class. Entering into Turbo C, I'm creating a new file, saving it as an inheritance.cpp, including the iostream.h header file. I'm going to write a class called shape. and it can have a member say yam and it can have a constructor it's a default constructor saying C out shape default constructor that's it and this is a class I am going to have an another two classes called triangle and circle and then circle this triangle and circle both uh, are derived from the class sh shape because so that it can inherit the properties of shape Same thing, I can copy it here. Okay. Now I will write the constructor for this one. Triangle. Out. triangle default constructor and then circle and then circle default constructor Now I'm going to write the main function and I'm creating an instance for circle and triangle. I'm compiling the programs, no errors, and I'm going to write run the program. So there is no new line, so it look the output doesn't look good so I will include the new line so that it is more readable ok let's see so now which we are calling shape default constructor then circle default constructor then shape default constructor then triangle default constructor what happens is the C1 is an object of the class circle so if you go to circle the base class is shape so when you create an object for circle it automatically creates uh, and calls the its base class constructor which is shape so that's why we are getting circle default constructor as well as shape default constructor and in circle class you can have you will have access to the member variable called yam even similarly the triangle you will have access to the call, uh, member variable called yam only if we have a product at declared here otherwise this yam is can be accessible only to the shape class if you try to access yam here let's see yam equal to zero and if you try to compile it will have shape colon yam is not accessible you can have it make it as a protected then it looks good and this is the basic concept of inheritance now I am going to talk about the multiple inheritance and uh, the single inheritance is this class is, is this class circle is derived from one class called shape 
now we are going to have an another class called cone which is derived from public circle as well as public triangle so the triangle and circle together can form a shape of cone and similarly I can have a constructor and having a print displaying not displaying it on the screen like cone default constructor now I will remove these two lines and I'm putting cone c1 that's it so the now we, we can expect cone default constructor will get called and internally circle and triangle constructor will get called and in turn the circle and triangle are derived from shape so we can expect shape constructor will also get called I'm going to run now if you look at it first shape default constructor then circle default constructor then shape default constructor then triangle default constructor then cone default constructor so when you create an object for cone it goes to the first declared the uh, public circle then it tries to call the base class constructor circle then it goes to the circle and in circle it's again it is derived from shape so first it goes and constructor the shape class constructor then it comes to circle then it moves to triangle and in tri triangle in turn it calls the shape and then it calls the triangle and finally it comes to the cone constructor and this is the concept of uh, multiple inheritance now I can move over into virtual functions for virtual functions I don't need the constructor basically I'm going to change this function with uh, this constructor function with a virtual function called a draw virtual void draw let's display it says shape now I'm going to override the method in its derived classes circle circle is done now cone now I will create an object for cone and then circle and then triangle for consistent I will say C3 then I will say shape C0 let's see C0 dot draw let's see whether it compiles yes it compiles and you can go C current draw then C2 dot draw then c3 dot draw now I will run this program so we got shape, cone, circle and triangle that's it now we didn't really use uh, the virtual behavior suppose if I don't have the definition for virtual 
for triangle and circle and I will have the virtual function defined for only cone this C1 and C2 sorry uh, cone is C1 so C2 and C3 don't have virtual functions overwritten so it by default it will call the save class constructor it's save class draw function so we got shape cone and shape and shape if we don't have definition for here also now uh, what happens when you have a virtual function so how it exactly does internally means if you have a class with virtual functions the class object size is incremented for example I'm creating a dummy class here for explanation and I'm having a member variable intium and I'm just displaying size of D and let's say dummy Let's see what it prints. It prints the number 2. So the class object size is 2. If we have a virtual function here. Let's see the size now. It displays 4. And even if we have 10 virtual functions it displays 4. So if we have one different virtual functions then the compiler will allocate two bytes that it's a 16 bit application if you are working in visual c++ it will uh, increase the size by four to store the uh, virtual function pointer table so from there it will have access now i will remove it and i will move on to the abstract class let's i will make the shape as a no implementation and it's called equal to zero so that it is called pure virtual function if we have a class with one pure virtual function then you cannot instantiate the class shape directly you have to have a derived class and you have to implement the draw functions to create an object so if I have if I'm compiling it will have a compilation error saying cannot create instance of abstract class shape so the solution is I can have a class triangle and I should have an implementation for draw and similarly circle so as I can uh, I cannot create shape so I can comment this line and I will remove it I can remove this one also now it looks good yes so you cannot create shape class directly as you made this one as a pure virtual function so this is called abstract class and often we write abstract class in order for if you are de developing a class libraries we will write abstract class so that the user of the class must write an another class which is derived from the uh, the base class and have an its its own implementation so it's good uh, usage for in case of many libraries and that's it so uh, far I covered inheritance multiple inheritance and then virtual functions and now abstract class thanks and thanks again for visiting software and finance.com if you have any questions let me know